You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and I've got your weekly prediction edition for the ABC Soap Opera. As always, our predictions are based on recent episode activity and official ABC Soap Opera spoilers. We've got five hot predictions, one for Ava and Valentine, one for Christina and the baby, one for Carly and Valentine, one for Laura Spencer, Collins, and one for Sam, Jason, and Dante. We're going to dig into this. If you have not, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. And our very first prediction, Ava Jerome traces the tampered medication back to Valentine, but will the Cassidine hurt her? Is Valentine Cassidine going to do something bad to her? So spoilers tied to this last week on Friday, May 3rd, after Carly checked Sonny's pills and mentioned him calling the pharmacist. She basically wanted him to prove to her that he's getting his refill and taking the medication, he just was in a rage and Ava picked up the bottle of pills and was looking very thoughtfully at it. So then on Monday the 6th, Ava is frustrated. She wants Sunny all to herself and there's Natalia around. There's these other people that keep coming around that don't like her, Lois, Carly, things like that, Olivia. Thursday, May 9th, Sunny upsets Ava. I pretty sure she is counting on him to take her as his wedding date to the Brooklyn and Chase wedding, but it looks like instead it's going to be Natalia Rogers Ramirez that gets to go because she is desperate to get an invitation to Brooklyn Quartermain's big day. She is being kind of a busybody helicopter mom interfering in stuff, and she has a very low opinion of BLQ, and so I think she wants to be there just to be kind of a nosy bee. Friday, May 10th, Spoilers say Ava looks into what is happening with Sunny's meds. That should lead her to the pharmacist, who should then lead her to Valentine. And if she goes to confront him, he may threaten her or actually hurt her, kidnap her. He does not need more problems related to Pikeman, and he needs Sunny out of the way. And if Ava's figured it out, that's a big problem. And I don't think he has really much he can use to leverage her. So we'll see how it goes. Second prediction, Christina Corinth. I think might keep that baby. That is very concerning. So spoilers related to this. Last week, Alexis point blank asked Christina, I think it was in the final moments of the Friday episode, maybe asked Christina if she's feeling like this baby is hers and not theirs. And biologically, it is hers. It's hers and TJ's. And she's very frustrated with Molly and TJ, especially with TJ who is acting like he just found out her dad's a mobster. He has a very close relationship of his own with Sonny and has had for years. He lived with Sonny for a hot minute when he was mad at his mom, Jordan, for lying about his paternity. Do you remember that? So then Monday, May 6th, Christina asks Molly if she thinks Sonny's a threat to the baby. And Alexis tells Diane she's worried this surrogacy is going to rip the family apart. So, you know, Christina talking about the magic of the pregnancy, TJ complaining about Christina and Sonny, and he also was complaining the other day, was it to, was it to Marshall? No, was it to Marshall or was it to Gregory? Anyway, he was complaining about how Molly is never around. She's always working. It's kind of like she has no time for him. Their relationship does not seem stable to me. They might not even be together by the time the baby comes. Christina's getting very attached to this baby. Plus all those repeat warnings that surrogacy like this, where the the surrogate is also the egg donor, and especially because they're related, there's just not a lot of legal protections in the state of New York. So it's worrisome. My third prediction, Carly may be in danger. Valentine may have more and more loose ends to tie off. So spoilers for Tuesday, May 7th, have Carly eavesdropping on John Cates. And she clearly hears something important because by Wednesday, May 8th, Carly tries to get some info from Pikeman. This very weird wording on this spoiler from Pikeman, not about Pikeman, but from Pikeman. So is she making calls to the mercenary organization and asking stupid questions? Because Friday, May 10th, Jagger confronts Jason about Carly. Does Kate know she's digging into Pikeman? And if she winds up on Valentine's radar for asking questions about Pikeman, you know, she could also 
be in danger. To me, this is just like the SEC thing all over again. Carly is sticking her nose in where nobody asked her to, where she ought not be. Granted, she's trying to help somebody out, but you know, when they've told her to butt out and leave it alone, she doesn't. And it always creates more problems than she could even potentially solve. But to be fair, that's Carly. This is very consistent writing because that is what Carly does. Our fourth prediction, Mayor Laura Collins is putting her career at risk by advocating for Cyrus and Heather. So we've all seen Laura asking about Heather's medical condition and her criminality. Did this metallosis cause some of the murderous hook killer thing she did. Alexis weighed in and said possibly yes and remember that all infuriated Portia who blew up at them. Laura's not going to stop. Next week, Tuesday, May 7th, Laura is out at Pentonville visiting Heather and we've also seen her advocating for Cyrus, hanging out with him publicly, bonding with him as a sibling, influencing him to report Sonny to the PCPD and just being extremely friendly and close with him. These are very bad optics for a mayor. And then Thursday, May 9th, spoilers say Jordan warns Laura. And I wonder if she's warning her, you're going to get either not reelected or maybe even impeached as the mayor. If you are out there trying to exonerate the hook killer and this notorious gangster Cyrus. So I don't know if Laura's going to stop, but I do think she's going to get a warning like that. Our fifth and final prediction, I think Sam McCall may blab Jason Morgan's secret to Dante. So We've seen on recent episodes, Sam's been pushing back hard on Jason about Danny Morgan. She thinks he's a danger to their son. Just being in his presence, the fact that Danny was basically aiding and abetting when Jason was shot, and not only being in his presence, but just his influence. If Danny is role modeling him, which he clearly is sliding into that leather jacket and all that, and... Jason is not doing anything criminal right now. He is legit, but Sam doesn't believe it. She still thinks he's a bad influence. So spoilers for Wednesday, May 8th, have Jason telling Anna how Kate's is leveraging him, tells her fully about the whole Carly Rico threat. And then the next day on Thursday, the 9th, Jason actually tells Sam that he's working undercover for the FBI probably to try to get her to chill out about this Danny stuff. But Sam doesn't keep secrets from Dante. And I think Dante's more of a secret keeper than she is. From what we've seen in the past, I've seen Dante sitting on stuff longer than he should have. But Sam, I think, may actually tell him. And if she blabs Jason's FBI secret to Dante, I just wonder how that's going to change things. Because, you know, Dante's one of the few people that's still on good terms with Sonny. Jason is his ex-best friend. It's just all very complicated. And I hope we get a good payoff from this umbrella plot that's trying to tie all these loose ends together. We'll see. Those are our five predictions for this prediction edition. Please subscribe if you haven't. Definitely drop your comments. Let me know what you're hoping to see, where you think these storylines are going. And come back soon, because we are here talking General Hospital seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 